Hello and welcome everyone. In a previous video, we talked about the rift that exists between science and religion. Today, I'm going to focus on a particular theory that has created an uproar in some religious circles. You probably know what theory I'm talking about. It's the theory of evolution. So what's the big problem? Well, there are some theologians, religious leaders, and their followers who vehemently deny that evolution exists, and they're on one extreme. And on the other extreme, there are the atheists who absolutely believe that evolution is true, but they go further and they interpret certain characteristics of evolution to support their belief that evidence of a God doesn't exist. Let's look at denial of the theory of evolution from the perspective of the scholar of religion or the cleric or the ones who follow them. Why do they reject it? The ultimate reason for their rejecting evolution is because it conflicts with the beliefs they have, the beliefs they've established based on their interpretation of the religious scripture or their interpretation that they believe to be correct. If this interpretation had not been established or upheld by them, then one has to wonder, would they reject the theory of evolution at all if they didn't adhere to their interpretation? What about the scientific perspective? Well, the theory of evolution is a scientific theory, and it's based on the scientific method. You probably learned about the scientific method at some point in your education. The scientist identifies a problem or asks a question, gathers information about it or researches it, formulates a hypothesis, and then tests it through experimentation, then records the data and analyzes it and draws conclusions. Then the results are shared with the rest of the scientific community and either they're reproducible or they're not. The hypothesis can be tested and modified if the results don't support it, and retested as many times as necessary. If the results are not reproducible, however, then the hypothesis falls out of favor. Why is the scientific method supporting evolution so important? It's because it provides an objective, standardized method that minimizes bias, because humans, no matter how well-intentioned they are, will introduce bias or error and the scientific method works to eliminate it as much as possible and to correct for that. The scientific method doesn't care about whether you want the hypothesis to be valid or not. It doesn't care how much you want to believe it will be true. It's kind of unrelenting that way. In the case of the theory of evolution, there's much evidence that has accumulated to support it. It's just undeniable. There's fossil evidence, evidence from comparative anatomy, and more recently, genetic evidence that clearly points to a common origin for all organisms, including humans. The evidence is seriously, it's just massive. It all points in the direction of evolution from a common origin. In fact, it's the only theory that is taught in established universities throughout the world to explain life on Earth. So the question then for those who deny evolution or insist that evolution is false would be, do you have an alternative theory to explain all of the life forms that exist on this earth that has even a shred of evidence consistent with what we find today? And this leads us to a very fundamental and very important question for those who believe in the existence of a God. This is the question I have for you. Are you saying that God is trying to trick us? Until next time, thanks for watching.